share with you about plant reproduction. The question here says that the diagram below show flower and ripple male and female parts. Now students, could you recall that you have seen this type of flower before? Normally you can find these type of flowers um, in the supermarket or in the garden. Uh, this breed of flower are normally the hibiscus as well as the uh, orchid flower, which is our Singapore natural flower. So this type of flower have both male and female parts of the flower together. And over here it says that if the anther was actually removed from flower and would the flower still be able to undergo the process of fertilization? Explain your answer. Now, students tend to miss out lots of um, keywords, especially when we do this. Perhaps you know the answer. Right now, even when you are watching the video, you know that the answer is um, a yes. All right, and but the thing is, um, you do not know how to phrase the sentence. So before we even phrase it or start doing the question, the very first thing is uh, I mentioned that highlighting the important information of the keyword is um, is an essential skill towards tackling science examination question. So we highlight the enter was removed from flower M. Now the concept that is testing here is actually the function of different flower parts. Can you recall the function of the different flower parts? Now, right, right now, why don't we just take a look at this flower and recall each part of the function. So over here, stigma is trap and receive pollen grain. A stigma have a sticky pad to trap and receive pollen grains. And enter is the part that produces pollen grains. Ovary will develop the fruit. A after fertilization and ovule will develop into C after fertilization. So in this case, you have to ask yourself that if the enter was actually removed from flower M, can we then still allow fertilization? So plainly we just remove the enter. So the enter is up right here. So we still have the stigma which is the female part. And the concept behind this would be as long as you have the female part, the female part is still intact. Reproduction and fertilization, pollination can still occur. How would that be? Now, I'm going to teach you uh, our signature technique, which is called the ABC. Okay, what's ABC? A stands for answer with a choice. So you pick an answer. So in this case, our answer is yes. So B stands for backing your answer with evidence. Normally, I tell the student to refer to the diagram for evidence. In this case, can you take a look? The diagram here says, um, if it's a chart, you refer to the chart as information or a graph. But in this case, it's a picture given to us. So the picture here as an evidence, it says, and the wording information that's given to us says that the enter was removed. And if the enter was removed, the picture here says the stigma of the flower is still present. So that is the evidence because we refer back to the question. So this will avoid marks um, being deducted in school because sometimes you, you write yes and then you know student will end up writing, oh, there's still stigma, pollination occur. No, you're supposed to be more specific. So the word stigma is still present. What's the concept behind it? The concept behind it is that the stigma can still receive pollen grain. Now don't stop there. Can still receive pollen grain from who? From the enter of the flower of the same species. Students ask, do we have to write that? Yes, we have to. Because you cannot just say the stigma is present, full stop. And our answer is yes. The Most of the time, you will not get full marks for this. So I would like to stress on this especially because when you, when you use the ABC technique, it can help you to plan your answer properly. And of course, uh, not making any careless mistake as well.